Dunton Locks Pottery is located two miles south of Detroit Lakes, off Highway 59 by Dunton Locks Park. Open daily, 11 to 4. For a closer look at Phil Holton's wood turning, call 346-3860. The Glass Lady Studio is located in Lake Park, Minnesota at 403 Lake Street. If you'd like more information on classes or custom work, you can give us a call at 218-234-8844. My name is Mary Lobbs, and I'm here at my shop, Dunton Locks Pottery. This is where I create and display my pottery. I'm located just a couple miles south of Detroit Lakes off Highway 59, right by Dunton Locks County Park. I'm open daily, 11 to 4, through the summer, and then in the fall, on weekends, till the snow flies. If you're interested in seeing how I make this pottery, follow me down to my studio, and I'll give you some demonstrations. Okay, today we're here, and I'm going to show you how to make a mug. I have a little icon on the mug here. It says Detroit Lakes. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these mugs. Okay, I start out with a clay ball as usual. I center it on my wheel, straight down, spin it. It's not quite centered, so I apply some pressure here. Squeeze on the ball of clay until it's centered right in the middle of the wheel. Press down in the middle out along the base and pull up on the side. I'm flattening out that base a little better. I have it pretty flat but not totally so I'm going to take this tool here, flatten it out on the base. Then I'm going to pull up on the sides. Rim the top, push in so I can pull up again. I don't want that outside to flare out too much. Okay, press out a little bit on the base, pull up one more time. And then I'm going to take a rib to really smooth out that surface of the mug. And I will trim it with my trim tool. Pull that excess clay off. Put a little water there. Take the wire, pull that through. Oh, look me, I forgot my rag, so there it goes. Now I'm going to pull, I'm going to wire that one more time. Now I'm going to pull up. And we'll go over to the table now, and I'll, I'll show you how I attach the handle and the button. This is the mug I just made, but I will not be attaching the handle to this one right now because as you can see, it's very soft upon touch. So that has to set up and get a little firm before I tip it upside down and trim the bottom of it um, on the wheel. So that bottom will be trimmed. So once that is done, I'm going to set that aside and show you one that I have trimmed already. And pretty much this one is already set up. It's firm, I can pick it up without it having bent, so I know that it's at the right stage. I've already trimmed the bottom of it, I initialed the bottom of it, but now what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is attach the handle. So what I do for that is I pick up this scoring tool here. I have to score the surface of the mug and the handle itself, and then I put slip it's called slip, but basically what it is is muddy clay. And um, to attach the two together, it, it works as the glue, really. 
So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this mug and I am going to pull this scoring tool, if you can see that, and that is the, the top part of the handle. Then I go straight down from there. I'm just going to draw a little line very lightly so I can see where the bottom should go. And so I'm going to do the same on this. I'm just scoring the bottom of that. So that is the top and the bottom of the handle. So now what I'm going to do is take a little of this slip, mix it up real good. You can see the consistency of that. It's just like very runny mud. And I just take a brush and I apply it right to there. And I just, I can let that set there for a couple minutes. Now I'm going to take my handle, which I have pre-made. The length of this handle here. This is pretty soft clay yet, this piece is. But I also kept that in a container until I was ready to use it because I don't want any of these to dry out. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be the top of the handle. So I am going to turn it and kind of shape it in the position that I want it to be in. Okay, this is the top right here. So I squeeze that down, to, down a little bit and I'm going to take that scoring tool and scratch the surface just like I did on the actual mud, on the actual mug there. Okay, put the mud on and then I'm going to put that straight on the top there. I'll let you have a side view here. And I don't know, I'm actually supporting the back because I don't want to crush the actual surface of the mug. And then I pull that down and into the surface itself. And now I also have to score the back of this and apply mud there. Apply that slip to both surfaces and line it up to make sure it's straight up and down. I'm supporting the back and then I can press my thumb directly on that. Okay, now I'm going to go back here and reshape that handle so it's aesthetically pretty because whatever position I have that handle in and if I don't go back and check it as it's drying, it's going to dry in that position. So now I'm going to take a little more mud and I'm going to pop it on the top and the bottom there. Fill in those areas so when they dry. Now I'm going to the top and what I'm doing is I'm actually drying with my eye. Just a straight line up from there and then going to make an X. And I'm going to come straight down on the front there and that's where I'm going to attach that little button that I've made. So what I want to do is I know the button is this size of the cookie cutter so I'm just going to attach a little circle there and I'm going to score this. Put mud in there. Now I'm going to get one of these little buttons that I made. I carved out a little icon there with a fish on it. Now I get to let this get a little firm because I'm going to be pressing against that, but okay, now I also score this surface. Scratch that up nice and rough there. That dried a little farther than I wanted to. Apply the mud. And line that up so that's very straight up and down. And I'm supporting the back and I am attaching the button. And then I just pull that extra slip off and here is the mug. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this mug dry. I'm going to low fire it and then I put glaze on it and then here are some finished versions of this pot. These mugs here have a little icon of a pine tree on it and this one over here has a fish on it. Something very nice for the Detroit Lakes area. Come to my pottery studio and you can see these and others. Thanks. Mary Lobbs lives and works as an artist in the north woods of Minnesota. Inspired by nature, all her pottery is wheel thrown and hand carved. See these and others at Dunton Locks Pottery.